Hey guys, so welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be reviewing the October Ice Cream Beauty Box. This is a monthly beauty box where you get four to five full size indie makeup products for a really low price. I believe it is less than $25 and every time I add up my box it is well over $100. For me, this has been one of the best, if not the best, beauty box subscriptions, and I'm really happy to have it in my stash again. Um, I Let's see, what am I going to do here? I'm going to use everything in the box. I already have some makeup on, like foundation, primer, uh, setting powder, so everything else I will be applying... Um, I will be applying on camera. We have some really cool pink items since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I'm gonna be wearing pink to work today or like a fuchsia color. So I thought today was a perfect day to sit down and review October's box. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just welcome all of you. Hello, my name is Steph. I love trying out new makeup, especially new indie makeup, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, come on and be part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you love ice cream beauty boxes just the way I do please give this video a big thumbs up before you go don't forget to check the description box for links and codes to everything that I'll be referencing in today's video some of those links and codes are affiliate so if you do end up using them I thank you so so much for helping me support this channel if you guys want to see this total application try on even wear test because I'll let you guys see what it looks like at the end of my work day with the ice cream beauty box for October 2024 keep on watching okay so I applied a little bit of bronzer from she glam and I'll make sure that I link um, all of the other items that I'm wearing that are not from the ice cream beauty box um, in the description box the next thing that we're going to go in with is this uh, liquid blush and this one is from moon slice beauty this one retails um, originally for 19 dollars the shade on this one i don't think it tells me this shade yeah it doesn't say it here and it doesn't say it on it just says liquid blush so let me give it a good shake this looks like a really really pretty color it also looks like it's going to be super pigmented so maybe just two dots like that I'm going to go in with my BK Beauty 109 oh yeah pigment I love a bold blush for me that's just what I've been doing last year especially into this year and you notice I don't apply bronzer or contour or anything to my cheekbones. I just like to play up the blush. I have more fun that way. And this looks like it's drying down to a matte. And it looks like it dries down pretty quick. So you want to be quick. Don't do the dots on the other cheek and then think you'll be able to spread them out easily. Doesn't appear it's going to work that way. Ooh, but that's nice. And it did spread out easily. This is a nice blush, very pretty, and they feel like they've dried down substantially. And it didn't feel very wet, like a wet formula. It wasn't very runny, watery, so that's how you know this is definitely gonna have some stain power, and that's what you want from your liquid blush. Ideally, you could layer it. You could do a powder on top, but I don't feel the need to just because this has already set itself. Such a beautiful color, and I want to test it out. I want to see how long, if it'll get me through 10, perhaps 11 hours today. I'm going to try and go vote after work. So we shall see, but I'm loving the glow I'm getting. Now, um, I don't have a highlighter, so I'm going to go in with this one that they sent me from Rare Beauty. This one is in the shade Mesmerize. It's their liquid highlighter. And I want to say I've, I have this shade already. Not entirely sure. Where is my Rare Beauty highlighter brush? I feel like these also tend to dry down pretty quickly, so just act fast have your tools handy and then what I do after I do highlighter I just apply some more blush on top to fuse it all together all right guys just adding that last little bit of blush and I think we have a beautiful glow a beautiful rosy cheek going on 
I love it. I love it. Now I have a liquid eyeshadow. I have an eyeshadow palette. I have a duo eyeshadow palette and something for the lips. So I'm going to go take care of my brows off camera. And when I come back, we'll start creating an eye look and we'll try out um, some of the other products as many as we can. Okay guys, so the brows are on and I did apply lipstick only because the lip gloss in this set is really clear and I use this one from Juvia's Place. It's uh, called a Mauve Moment and I love these Juvia's Place lipsticks. They have really good longevity. This is the lip gloss right here. This lip gloss is the Amped Plumping Lip Oils by Indie Beats Cosmetics and it retails for $17. And there you can see the brand name. Let me get sister off the vanity. Hi, sister. There she is. She's going to go. She might stay here on my lap. Let's see. What does she want to do? Yeah, it's just clear, and I had swatched it. Oh, it's clear, and it's plumbing. I can feel it. Oh, wow. There is a really profound tingling sensation at the end you get a little bit of like a kettle corn taste which is not bad mm. actually tastes really good okay hey that's cool so we get in this box a little duo here this is from um pink duochrome by chantico beauty this retails for twenty dollars so Two little duochrome shadows. Don't know that we'll get to those today. Um, I wouldn't mind trying this one from Zisa. This is a liquid duochrome. The liquid duochrome is going, or the liquid shadow, I should say, not duochrome. Um, but the liquid shadow, I should say, is $24. I think they're calling it a liquid glitter. Oh, and it has that really little... Okay, yeah, you can barely see it. Okay, I don't know that we'll use this one today. Maybe in the inner corner, we'll see. Um, if not, I'll dip into that little duo and maybe I can use one of those shades for the inner corner. But what I really wanna focus on is this right here, Beauty Moon Cosmetics by Ice Cream Beauty Box, Hope in Bloom, of course, because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You do get a mirror and these are your 12 shadows, predominantly pink as it should be for October. So um, I think I will start in I think I will start in over here with the shade support and then I'm going to go into loved and then warrior and I did prime my eyelids already with the alter ego eyeshadow primer and so I'm just going to be focusing this up here crease transition area All right, I think that pink shade looks really good. Now I'm gonna go dive into the shade Love. Taking Love on a BK Beauty 211 directly into the crease. Now on that same brush, I'm going into the shade Warrior, focusing it on the outer corner. A little bit on the lid and a little on the crease. Guys, I think we're getting such a beautiful blend from these eyeshadows. I'm really, really liking the depth I was able to achieve and just everything. It looks really, really good. Now, I wanna take care of the lower lash line already and I think I'm gonna go in with this purple right here called Promise using my refer 26 to apply. I'm not gonna take it all the way, just like three fourths of the way. All right, I think that looks good. So I do wanna incorporate maybe the white one from this little duo palette. Oh yeah, that would definitely be good for the inner corner. You know what, let me do that right now. I'm gonna clean off this brush I was using, the Refer 26, dip in here, and then just spray with a little Mac Fix Plus. I need to buy a new bottle. And apply that here. That way we can at least try as many items as possible. 
I think the only thing I'm not going to be able to try is that liquid glitter, which is fine by me because that's not really my thing. Now let's focus on the lid. And I think since my pantsuit is going to have purple, it's more fuchsia. Um, I'm looking at Faith here, and I'm also looking at Chance. So I think I'm going to be using a combo of these two. And I want Faith more in the inner portion and then Chance on the outer portion. Using Faith on my damp Morphe and one, two, four. Wow, that is really pretty. Now I'm going in with the shade Chance. Same brush, I just flipped it around and sprayed. These two shades are kind of similar. Maybe I should have gone in with the one next to it. I'm going to pick up Clarity. It's this color. Yeah, there we go. This gives it a little bit more dimension. Of course, I'll have to add back that dark brown that was on the outer corner that kind of got lost a little bit, but we'll bring it back. Doing the same thing to this other eye. I'm just bringing back the shade Warrior just to blend everything together. All right, guys, we definitely have a look going on and I did get some fallout, but let me take care of the finishing touches off camera and I'll be right back to show you the completed look using majority products from Ice Cream Beauty Box. All right, guys, so here is the completed look. I added some Thrive Tubing Mascara, Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner on the top lash line, and for the lower waterline, a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This one is in the shade Fruit Fantasy. I love it. I love the full face of makeup, a very pink mauve fuchsia moment. Uh, that's exactly what I needed because I'm going to be wearing a fuchsia suit to work today. So um, I will be back at the end of my workday. I'll let you see what this looks like looks like 10, 11 hours later. And I will give you, I think I already told you the total cost, right? If not, I can do that right now. The total cost of this box was $115. For all of the products and you only paid like 22 24 dollars for this box so i think at the end of the day ice cream beauty box is a really great way to try lots of different indie brands indie brands that you don't really get to see or hear from all that often um they put them in here and i've been so satisfied with my boxes but I want to see how this face and makeup is going to hold up. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so 11 hours later, this is what the face and makeup is looking like. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is not the strongest ice cream beauty box that I've had. I've definitely had better boxes in the past. While I think the eye makeup stayed on, the lip gloss was, you know, here and there. I definitely had to reapply throughout the day. Um, I feel like the blush has gotten a little bit patchy. I didn't get to use the liquid glitter. The palette is a predominantly pink palette, as it should be because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but I don't just reach for all pink palettes very often. I, I don't know. I really wasn't feeling this box. This one wasn't my favorite. There are other boxes that have really blown me away, but I think for what you pay for the box, you definitely get your money's worth. And in my opinion, and I've said it before, they're probably the best beauty subscription box out there, especially if you love indie makeup. That is what Ice Cream Beauty Box, that is their, their number one thing is they always spotlight and include indie makeup brands. So that is something that I really love about Ice Cream Beauty Box. Unfortunately for me, I am not going to be... Uh, reviewing ice cream beauty boxes in the future, at least in the near future. I went ahead and I pulled myself off of their PR list simply because I don't have time to review all the PR, all of the makeup that I get in PR. And they weren't the only ones I pulled myself um, off PR lists. And, you know, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to receive PR. But I know when an indie brand sends PR out, it's a struggle for them just because, you know, they need those people that they're sending PR to to be out there and talking about the product, you know, whether it's good or bad, they just need the publicity. And I don't want to be one that takes a product and then I can't use it and I can't share it with you guys. So 
I'm making some changes behind the scenes. This is my busy season at work from now until the end of the year. So I have to uh, make sure that I take care of myself, my mental health, my, you know, just overall well-being and I need to not stress myself out and if I know I can't review certain things and I just I'd rather just not receive it and leave it up to me whether I'm gonna buy it or not so just FYI this is gonna be my last ice cream beauty box review for a while hopefully uh at the start of next year maybe I can get back on board with their uh PR program but for right now um I wish them the best of luck I still love ice cream beauty box I love them I think again they are one of the best ones out there but unfortunately for me, October was just not my favorite month. But let me know if you guys got the box. What did you think about it? Uh, what are your thoughts on Ice Cream Beauty Box in general? Maybe you've watched some of my videos in the past. Have I encouraged you or have I inspired you to try them? Let me know. Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is y'all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see y'all very soon. Bye.